One of the best ways to improve your English fluency is by increasing your vocabulary. And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go. Today's lesson is all about vocabulary. We are going to improve your vocabulary. We are going to be studying vocabulary that is in the band four level of the IELTS exam. Now, band four vocabulary is so important because this is the foundation of English. These are words that we use in everyday life. If you want to get a higher score, if you want to get to the band five, six, seven, if you want to get higher, then you must know these words first. In today's lesson, we are going to play a vocabulary game. I am going to explain a vocabulary word. You must guess what the word is. I'll give you just a short time to guess the word. So you have to think quickly and answer out loud. Okay, so just to review, I'll define, I'll explain the word. You tell me what the word is. Number one. This word means suggestions about what someone should do. Suggestions about what someone should do. What is this word called? Advice. Advice. Number two. This is a place where we live. Now, this place is inside a large building. This place is inside a large building. What is this word called? All right, this word is called apartment, apartment. An apartment is a home. It's a place where you live inside a larger building. Number three, this is a person who buys something from a store or from a business. This is a person who buys something from a store or a business. What is this person called? Customer. Customer. So a customer is a person who is buying something from a business or from a store. Number four. Number four. This is the power or strength to do something, both physically and mentally. This is the power or strength to do something, both physically or mentally. What does this word, what does this definition mean? What is this word called? Energy energy. Number five. Number five. This is a place, usually a very large building, where things are made, usually in large numbers. This is a place, usually a building, where things are made, usually in large numbers. What is this word called? Factory. Factory. So a factory is a large building. It's a place where we are making a lot of things in large numbers. Okay, so that was the first five. How did you do? 
Did you get all of them right? If not, that's okay. You can always rewatch it. Listen to the definition. Listen to my explanation again so that you can remember these words. These words are really, really important. Like I said in the introduction, these words are the foundation of English. If you want to speak confidently, easily, fluently in English, you must know these words. So any words you don't know, make sure you take a note of it, write it down, review it, understand it, try to start using it, because that will really help your speaking. Now, before we get to the last five, if you're new to this channel, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Also, give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and share this video. All right, let's move to the next five. Number six. This is a thought or a plan about how to do something. This is a thought or a plan about how to do something. What is this word called? Idea, idea. Number seven. This is a trip from one place to another. This is a trip from one place to another. What is this word called? Journey, journey. Number eight. This is a person who performs in TV shows, plays, movies, theater. This is a person who performs in TV shows, movies, plays, and the theater. What is this person called? Actor. Actor. Number nine. This is a person who lives near you, even sometimes right next to you. This is a person who lives near you or even right next to you. What is this person called? Neighbor, neighbor. And number 10, number 10, this is a piece of paper or a digital pass that lets you enter somewhere or travel. This is a piece of paper or a digital pass that lets you enter somewhere or travel. What is this word called? Please leave your answer in the comments section. Anybody who answers this, anybody who answers this and leaves their answer in the comment section, I will give you a bonus question. I'll give you a bonus vocabulary word. I'll explain the word in the comment section, and then you will tell me what the new one is. So anybody who answers number 10, and leaves it in the comment section, I will give you a bonus vocabulary word, a bonus uh, definition for you to answer. So make sure you leave your answer in the comment section. All right, so that was 10. Nine of them, nine of them, you know the answers. The 10th one, you'll leave it in the comment section and I will let you know if you're right, okay? How did you do? Did you do well? Did you get all nine right? Hopefully all 10 right? If not, again, like I said, it's okay. The ones where you didn't know, the new ones, I want you to make a note. Write it down. Start using these. These words are really important. I chose band four for this video 
because BAM4 is, you know, some of the most useful words. These are the words we use every day. These are the words I use every day. So it's important that you know them. All right. So remember, if you like today's lesson, hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a like and hit the notification bell. All right. Until the next lesson. See ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today we practiced 10 vocabulary words that are at the band four level of the IELTS exam. If you like today's lesson, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to share this video as well. Until the next lesson, see ya.